CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Chemistry Experiment Number Two Chemical Kinetics 2.1 To study the effect of concentration of sodium thiosulfate on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and HCl. Aim to study the effect of concentration of sodium thiosulfate on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hcl materials required 5 conical flask of 250 ml measuring cylinder burette of 50 ml stopwatch a thermometer 0.1 m sodium thiosulfate 1.0 m hydrochloric acid distilled water paper and a marker procedure the rate of chemical reaction can be altered by changing the concentration of the reactants involved if concentration of reactant is increased rate of reaction will increase and vice versa in this experiment you will study the reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid and effect of change in concentration of sodium thiosulfate in the rate of reaction Take five clean conical flasks and label them as A, B, C, D, and E respectively. With the help of burette, add 0.1 m sodium thiosulfate solution and distilled water in the labeled conical flask as per the following table. Place a conical flask on the paper with a thick mark and put 10 ml HCl in it. Start the stopwatch when half of the HCl solution has been added to the conical flask and shake it and measure the time for the solution to become opaque. Repeat the above steps with all the conical flask. Observations. Result: The rate of reaction increases with increase in concentration of Na2S2O3. Two point two. to study the effect of concentration of hcl on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hcl aim to study the effect of concentration of hcl on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hcl materials required 5 conical flask of 250 ml 0.1 m sodium thiosulfate solution 1.0 m dilute hcl solution stopwatch a tile measuring cylinder paper marker and distilled water procedure rate of a chemical reaction depends on pressure temperature catalyst and concentration of the reactant on increasing the concentration of the reactant involved in reaction Rate of reaction increases due to increase in the number of collision per unit time. We can study the effect of concentration of reactant on rate of the reaction by varying the amount of one of the reactant. Take a thoroughly clean conical flask and place it on a tile with a mark X in the center. Add 50 ml of 0.1 m sodium thiosulfate solution to it using a measuring cylinder. Now add 1.0 ml of 1.0 m HCl solution to it. Start the stopwatch when half the HCl solution that is 0.5 ml has been transferred. Record the time required for the mark X on the tile to become invisible. Repeat the procedure by adding 2 ml, 4 ml, 8 ml and 16 ml of 1.0 m 
HCl solution to 50 ml of 0.1 m sodium thiosulfite every time and record the time required for the disappearance of the mark X in each case separately. Observations Result The rate of reaction varies directly with concentration of reactants in this reaction. On increasing the concentration of HCl, the rate of reaction increases. Two point three to study the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and HCl. Aim to study the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and HCl. Materials required. 0.1 m sodium thiosulfate solution 1.0 m dilute hcl solution gas burner stopwatch thermometer a tripod stand wire gauze paper a marker conical flask of 250 ml measuring cylinder procedure Take 50 ml of 0.1 m sodium thiosulfate solution in a conical flask and place it on top of the paper with a tick mark. Measure the temperature of it with the help of thermometer that is at room temperature. Add 10 ml of HCl to it and start the stopwatch immediately with half a amount that is 5 ml of HCl has been transferred. Record the time required for the mark tick on the paper to become invisible. Take the same amount of solution in another conical flask and heat it up to 40 degrees Celsius on a burner. Now place the flask on a printed paper and add 10 ml of HCl to it and start the stopwatch when half of HCl has been added. Record the time at which the mark tick becomes invisible. Repeat the above steps for different temperatures by increasing the temperature by 5 degrees Celsius each time. Observations Result The rate of reaction varies directly with temperature for the reaction between HCl and sodium thiosulfate. 2.4 to study the rate of reaction of iodide ions with hydrogen peroxide at room temperature using different concentrations of iodide ions. Aim to study the rate of reactions of iodide ions with hydrogen peroxide at room temperature using different concentrations of iodide ions. Materials required 4 conical flask of 250 ml conical flask of 500 ml, a measuring cylinder, a water bath, a stopwatch, start solution, 2.5 m sulfuric acid, 0.1 m potassium iodide solution, 0.04 m sodium thiosulfate solution, 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Procedure Label 4 250 ml conical flask as A, B, C and D. 
add sodium thiosulfate, potassium iodide and distilled water in them using a measuring cylinder as per the following table. Keep these four conical flasks in a water bath so that the temperature becomes equal to the room temperature. Take another conical flask labeled X. Add hydrogen peroxide, sulfuric acid and starch solution in ratios respectively of 5 is to 5 is to 1. Add distilled water to this mixture to make 250 ml solution. Take 25 ml of solution from flask A in another conical flask and add 25 ml of solution from flask X. Start the stopwatch. Measure the time it takes to acquire blue color. Repeat the above step with the solutions of flask B, C and D separately by using once again 25 ml of the solution of this flask and 25 ml of solution from flask X. Observations Result The rate of reaction increases with increase in concentration of potassium iodide. 2.5 To study the rate of reaction between potassium iodate KiO3 and sodium sulfite Na2SO3 using starch solution as indicator. Clock reaction Aim To study the rate of reaction between potassium iodate KiO3 and sodium sulfite Na2SO3 using starch solution as indicator. Materials required 6 conical flask of 250 ml each, measuring cylinder of 100 ml, a stopwatch, 2.0 m sulfuric acid, 5% starch solution, 6% potassium iodate solution, 6% sodium sulfite solution. Procedure Take 5 conical flask and label them as A, B, C, D and E. Put 10 ml, 20 ml, 30 ml, 40 ml and 50 ml of potassium iodate solution to the flask A, B, C, D and E respectively. Add 10 ml dilute H2SO4 to each flask. Add sufficient water to make the total volume of the solution equal to 100 ml in each flask. Add 5 ml of freshly prepared starch solution in each flask. Place flask A on a glass tile. Put 25 ml of 0.01 m sodium sulfite solution to flask A. Start the stopwatch and measure the time it takes to turn blue. Repeat the above steps with flask B, C, D and E. Observations Result The rate of reaction increases with increase in concentration of iodate ions. Note, in the same way, the concentration of potassium iodate can be kept constant and that of sodium sulfite can be varied to study the rate of reaction for increasing concentration of sodium sulfite. 2.6 To study the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulfite. Aim to study the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulfite. Materials required 5 conical flask of 250 ml each, measuring cylinder of 100 ml, a stopwatch, white tile, 6% potassium iodate solution, 
6% sodium sulfite solution, starch solution, 2.0 m sulfuric acid, thermometer, gas burner, tripod stand, and wire gauze. Procedure Take 5 conical flasks and label them as A, B, C, D, and E. Put 20 ml of potassium iodate solution and 5 ml of starch solution to each flask using a measuring cylinder. Take the flask A and note down the temperature of it. Put 20 ml of sodium sulfite solution and 5 ml sulfuric acid in it. Start the stopwatch. Measure the time it takes to turn blue. Take flask B and heat it up to 40 degrees Celsius using a burner. Place it on a white tile and add sodium sulphide and sulfuric acid as earlier. Calculate time it takes to turn blue. Repeat the above steps with flask C, D and E by increasing temperature by 5 degrees Celsius for each successive flask. Observations Result, the rate of reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulphide increases with increase in temperature.